the government has has not formally uh, notified the United States of their intentions uh, to withdraw from the ISS. Uh, like I said, we saw their comments. We saw the reporting on that. Uh, we are exploring options uh, to mitigate uh, the potential impacts on the ISS beyond 2024 if Russia does uh, withdraw. For our part, uh, we are we remain committed to working with ISS partners uh, to ensure the safe operation of the ISS and the on astronauts who are on board. I do think we should take it seriously. Uh, you know, in the past, there's been a lot of bluster and a lot of threats. But with the previous head of the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, um, Dmitry Rogozin, was uh, he liked to do that, you know, and, and, and so it's hard to take him seriously and often. He would say all kinds of outlandish things, either on Twitter or in, in the public, that would never be backed up by actual action on the part of the Russian space agency. And so, so in the past, it was easy to dismiss these things. But this is different. This is a new leader. Uh, it was after a direct consultation with Putin. And so I do think that this carries a little bit more weight. It's also, the other thing that's different about it is it's not saying that we're going to withdraw immediately. It's saying we're, we're going to withdraw in, in uh, 2024. So it's a bit more managed. Uh, so for all those reasons, I do think that this is not, uh, that this should be taken seriously. I also think it's an opportunity for NASA. The ISS was designed to be completely interdependent or, or dependent um, uh, uh, on both sides. So you, neither the Russian side or the American side could, uh, could function without the other. So the Russian side is completely dependent on the American side for electrical power. The American side is completely dependent on the Russian side for propulsion, uh, both for attitude control uh, for maneuvers and for desaturating our, our gyroscopes. So for those reasons, uh, you can't just go, you can't have an, uh, uh, what did Gwyneth Paltrow call it, a, a conscious uncoupling? You can't, you can't have an amicable divorce, right? It's going to be ugly. Uh, and so as, as a result, we're kind of stuck together. And that's why it's been the one aspect of U.S.-Russian cooperation that has persisted throughout all the current tensions. However, uh, it's been a bit uh, incongruous to say, to put it mildly, to see this, uh, you know, warm relationship uh, between cosmonauts and, and American astronauts uh, embracing uh, when, when there's all these atrocities being committed on the ground in Ukraine. And um, so, so I, I think this is an opportunity for NASA because I think they were reluctant to go all out to ask for funding from Congress and to really do something publicly about trying to break this dependency on the Russians for the space station out of fear for angering the Russians, for fear that they would rapidly pull out and leave us with nothing, right? But now they have this opportunity to say, okay, we got two years. If we use it wisely, and if we really do get fun adequate funding from Congress, and if we do uh, with all haste take I would take them at their word that they're leaving in two years and find a way in the next two years to go on without them.